Now for our Made in Oklahoma moment, Chef Kurt and his guest, Chef Justin Ward, prepare a tasty dish. Hi, I'm Chef Kurt from the Tasting Room in Oklahoma City, and I'm here with Justin Ward from Bolero. And today we're going to make a, a great dish that he created for a competition, the Oklahoma Cattle Wom Women's First Annual Iron Chef Competition. And Justin took second place. Yes. A heated battle. We started off with ten chefs. Six chefs. Six chefs. And uh, they had an hour to prepare a mystery basket. And uh, your main protein in there was the 200 calorie steak. Yes. So tell me what you did. Well, I was a little baffled at first because the mystery items didn't really work with what I wanted to do. But I thought it through and figured it out and I decided to do a vinaigrette with the barbecue sauce and the mustard that they gave me for mystery items. And then I also used the mushrooms and the jalapenos that they supplied along with the marinade that Head Country makes. And I uh, sauteed them in that and added a little liquid and slurried it or cornstarch with water to make a little gravy to go on top of the steak. Then I also boiled off uh, tomato and garlic and sliced up a whole bunch of uh, cilantro to make a little cilantro tomato sauce to go underneath the steak. Along well, with the great thing is the palate, I mean you got the griffin mustard, you got the head country, you got the JM Farms uh, mushrooms, I mean you got a great palate to start with. So, so what do you got going here? You got even Well I've, uh, I've already sauteed the mushrooms and the uh, jalapenos with the marinade that I had and already turned it into the gravy with Just the water. Cornstarch, sir. Yeah, a little, little cornstarch. Flush it up with water. That, that's great because you know we, you know, you at Bolero and me at the Coach House, we get all these great stocks and stuff, and oh, it's yeah. a good way to make a, exactly. make a dish without having, you know, 24-hour stock going. So. Exactly, exactly. And then I've also preheated my skillet to sear my, sear my steak. Um, we're going to go ahead and start that. Great. Just salt and pepper. That's all I believe that the steak needs is a little salt and pepper. Other than that, it does. And that's good enough to eat on its own, but this was a competition. Exactly. Wump it up a exactly. Exactly. And like I said earlier, I, I stewed some garlic and tomatoes and then added a uh, little cilantro to that. And I've got my burr mixture here. And I'm going to just puree that. Okay. And uh, with this sauce here, you don't necessarily have it heated. So this is the sauce that's going to be going underneath my steak. And a little base. A little base action going on there. Nice and colorful. And then for my uh, vinaigrette, I did a little cilantro, onion, a little garlic, mustard, the Griffin's mustard, and the head country. I know it doesn't sound right. And then also a little uh, vinegar. Now it's getting to the point of uh, the steak being so thin, I just flipped it and turned the heat off, let it finish cooking itself. And while I did that, I uh, went ahead and grabbed my oil that they supplied, grabbed my emulsifier, okay, now that I have the vinaigrette ready, I'm going to go ahead and grab my salad bowl that I had already prepared, drizzle a little bit, did a little bit of fresh onion. A little crunch in there. Yeah. yeah then I, I think people realize how much that we're that local chefs are incorporating these made in Oklahoma products and, oh yes. and I, trying to get more of our own local cuisine going here. Yes. I I have a lot of local farmers and whatnot that like to bring me their you know their their lettuces, their sure. vegetables, anything. Went ahead and threw in a little bit of that sausage in there just to have it inside the salad. Mm -hmm. And then I saved a little to the side to garnish it up on top, so that way the judges did know that I did use the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just sneaks in there. Yeah. Okay. Now the steak is placed right on top of that. And then we'll go ahead with my jalapeno and marinate. Got a nice sheen on Mushroom. that. And glaze to go on top of that. That looks great. Well, uh, I'm sure it was a close race there between second and first because that dish looks great. I told him I'd get him next year. Yeah, it's fun to mix it up. <laughs> well, remember, when it's made in Oklahoma, it's good for you and it's good for Oklahoma. Thanks, Justin. Thank you.